Hello everyone, very good morning to this live session regarding 200 MCQs for Banking General Awareness. So in this session we will be discussing 50 more questions in the part 3. In part 1 and part 2 we have discussed 100 questions. So there was an immense response. Now we will be discussing 50 more questions from 101 to 150. Okay, how is your preparation going on for the main examination of SBI PO, clerk, and the phase one of RBA grade B examination and also we have the Bank of Baroda Manipal course also all the best from my side and your preparation is in full gear I hope so so let's not waste our time and let's move on to the first question that is on the part 3 the first question of the part 3 yes hope all of you are ready please note down your score moving on to the first question of the day the one out first question, which of the following has launched selfie savings account? Is it UG1 Small Finance Bank, Airtel Payments Bank, Paytm Payments Bank or Equitas Small Finance Bank or Fino Small Finance Bank? Which of the following has launched selfie savings account? Selfie savings account, what could be the right answer? Most of you go with option number. Yes. Option number 4, is it the right answer? Shall I fix it? Yes, be fast everyone. Yes, the right answer is Equita Small Finance Bank is the right answer. Its headquarters is in Chennai. Equita Small Finance Bank is headquartered in, is in Chennai. Its tagline is, it's a fun banking. Okay, Ujjivan Small Finance Bank is in Bengaluru. Okay, Airtel Payments Bank is in New Delhi. Its headquarters. Paytm Payments Bank is in Noida of Uttar Pradesh. Equitas is in Chennai, we know. There is no Fino Small Finance Bank. There is Fino Pay Payments Bank. Okay, in Bangalore we have a FinCare Small Finance Bank. Jana Small Finance Bank, all these are in Ujjivan Small Finance, uh, sorry, in Bangalore. What do you mean by selfie savings? Selfie savings means the account can be opened through video mode. You have to record a video and submit to the bank. The bank will open the account along with your, you have to submit your Aadhaar and PAN card. Okay, clear with this, everyone? And Fino Payments Bank is in Mumbai. Clear. Moving on to the next question. The first Indian bank to open its branch in a foreign country. Is it Bank of India, Union Bank of India, Avad Commercial Bank, Canara Bank, Central Bank of India? First Indian bank to open overseas branch. First Indian bank to open its foreign branches. Most of you go with option number one. Yes, option number one is the right answer. Bank of India. It has started its first overseas branch in 1946 in London. Okay. Where is the headquarters of Bank of India as it ends with of India? Mumbai. This is also in Mumbai. Avad Commercial Bank. It is in a place called Avad in UP. Okay. This is the first commercial bank. Canara Bank is in Bangalore. And Central Bank is also in Mumbai. Okay, what is the tagline of Bank of India? It is relationship beyond banking. Right, the present chairman is, chairman or MD and CEO is Dinabandhu Mohapatra. Okay. Clear with this. Uh, what is the tagline of Union Bank of India? Good people to bank with. You have to remember the tagline along with headquarters. Uh, Canara Bank. Together we can. 
this question was asked I think in last year one of the banking examinations what is the tagline of Central Bank of India central to you since 1911 okay moving on to the next question 103 DG pause was launched by is it Axis HDFC ICICI Indusind or SBI DG pause I think you know right POS stands for point of sale machine hope you have seen the point of sale machine where you pay to the shopkeeper through your debit or credit cards yes point of sale machine so it's nothing but it is a digital point of sale machine where it accepts all types of uh, transactions like Bharat QR code UPI debit or credit all these cards can be accepted so what could be the right answer yes the right answer is HDFC Bank which was established in 1994 Aditya Puri is the present MD and CEO and the tagline is we understand your world where is its headquarters it is in Mumbai most of the private bank headquarters all of them are in Mumbai this is public sector bank okay moving on to the next question of the day RBI's financial literacy week is held annually once in a week okay for 2018 when was it started is it on July 4th May 4th April 4th March 4th or June 4th RBI's Financial Literacy Week for 2018. Yes, most of you have given the right answer. June 4th is the right answer. From June 4th to June 8th, the RBI's Financial Literacy Week. Last year there was a question regarding this. So this year you may expect a question. June 4th to June 8th 2018 financial literacy week what was the focus or theme the theme was customer pro protection or consumer protection okay so this was the theme of RBI's financial literacy week so that we can protect the customers from losing their money next goods and services tax network GSTN is a non-government entity under which section of New Companies Act 2013? Goods and Services Tax Network GSTN is a non-government company under which are the following sections of Companies Act 2018? What is GSTN? GSTN is a non-profit, non-government company. That means it is a private limited company okay what does it do it helps taxpayers and other stakeholders for implementing GST yes most of you have given the right answer yes section 8 of companies act new companies act earlier companies act was Companies Act 1956 now it is Companies Act 2013 clear and how much share does Government of India hold 24.5 percentage in this GSTN uh, all states plus Delhi plus Puducherry holds 24.5 percentage that means 49 percentage is government earlier it was 51 percentage for the private sectors now this 51 percent private is moved to government so government has passed recently a notification saying the private uh, the private stake of the GSTN will be also moved to the government clear everyone yes moving on to the next question of the day recently Jana small finance bank has launched its operations which is headquartered in just now I have told you where is the headquarters of 
Jana Small Finance Bank. Yes, what could be the right answer for this question? Jena Small Finance Bank. Yes, Bangalore is the right answer. We have Ujjivan Small Finance Bank, uh, Fincare Small Finance Bank plus Jena Small Finance Bank. All these are at Bangalore only. Okay, Equitas is at Chennai. Okay, the first small finance bank in India is Capital Local Small Finance Bank. I have told you already it is in Jalandhar of Punjab. Clear with this everyone? And ES, ESAF Small Finance Bank is in Trisur of Kerala. Clear? And Suryodai Small Finance Bank. It is in Navi Mumbai or New Mumbai. And Northeast Small Finance Bank is in Gauhati. Clear everyone? So Small Finance Bank, the minimum capital, how much is the minimum capital required? I've told you already for Small Finance Bank and the Payments Bank, it is 100 crores. Next, SBA Foundation Day is observed on June 1st, May 1st, July 1st or July 12th or June 30th. Yes, I have missed out one. AU Finance Bank is in Jaipur, right? SBA Foundation Day. What is the history of SBI? Actually, the three banks, it was Bank of Calcutta was established in 1806, Bombay 1840 and 1843. These are the three presidency banks. These were merged into, actually you can say, some people can say it is Bank of Bengal. Uh, it was renamed to Bank of Bengal in 1809. Okay, don't get confused. It was, all were merged in 1921 to form the Imperial Bank of India, right? An Imperial Bank was renamed to SBI through which act? Through SBI Act of 1955 on 1st July. Okay. So 1st July is the right answer. So SBI's foundation day is on 1st July 1955. State Bank of India clear everyone yes its headquarters is in mumbai md and ceo is rajneesh kumar hope all of you know it i think yes what are the taglines pure banking nothing else all these are taglines with you all the way okay moving on to the next question rbi was nationalized in is it 1934 1935 1947 1949 or 1950 And there was a question last year regarding SBA. After the merger of SBA on 1st April 2017, the five associates plus Bharatiya Mahila Bank was merged, right? So how many eight branches it has? It has 24,000 plus branches. Okay. It has 24,000 plus branches. And 59,000 plus ATMs. Okay, after the merger of SBI with the associate banks. Next, what is the right answer? 1949, 1st January 1949, it was nationalized. Okay, it was established through RBA Act of 1934 
on 1st April 1935 Hilton Young Commission has recommended it formation right first headquarters was in Kolkata the temporary headquarters in 1935 the permanent headquarters was moved to Mumbai in 1937 clear moving on to the next question which of the following has launched digital virtual assistant named Sia is it HDFC, Mastercard, ICICI, Kotak Mahindra or SBI? Which of the following has launched Digital Virtual Assistant SIA? Yes, what is the right answer for this question? Yes, most of you go with SBI. SBI is the right answer. So digital virtual assistant means it will be assisting the customers in the banking services. Kotak Mahindra has launched Kia. ICICI has launched IPAL. HDFC has launched uh, uh, EVA. IRA 2.0. Okay, and SBI card has launched ELA. This is also a, we have a digital virtual assistant. Okay, so it will be assisting in the banking services for the customers. At present, how much paid up capital does RBA hold in NABARD? Is it 0.4%, 96.4%, or 99.6%, or 0%, or 0.6%? NABARD, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development Where is its headquarters? Mumbai Established in on 12th July 1982 through Nabad Act of 1981 Okay, Shivaraman committee has recommended it. Shivaraman committee has recommended. So what is the right answer? Most of you go with option number. There are mixed answers. Some say 99.6, some say 0.4 percentage, some say 0 percent. So I think I am successful in giving this question. So the right answer is 0 percent. Earlier, 99.6 percentage was held by government of India 0.4 percentage was held by RBI actually the paid up capital was 5000 crores okay that means 4980 crores was held by government of India 20 crores was held by RBI now this is shifted to government of India only so now it becomes 0% and this 500 crores recently the government wants to increase to 30,000 crores. So the right answer is 0%. RBA doesn't hold any share in NABAD. So NABAD works for the welfare of agriculture and rural development. Which of the following online portal was launched by RBI to curb illegal collection of money by companies? Is it Mani Kumar? Paisa Bolta Hai? Sachet, money is not life, money honey. Yes, Harsh Kumar Banwala is a chairman of NABAD. He has been the chairman since two or two plus years. Online portal was launched by RBI. What could be the right answer? Yes. Most of you go with Sachet. Sachet is the right answer. People can file complaints. When companies take their money illegally. 
that is the main intention so mani kumar is regarding uh, monetary policy generally okay he will be assisting the consumers in monetary policy paisa bolta hai is regarding notes so it is nest by the notes awareness banking notes awareness okay currency notes okay these two are not there so sachet is the right answer to curb illegal collection of money by the companies sachet was launched in 2016 okay next how many promoter banks have promoted npci now what does npca stands for national payments corporation of india yes how many promoter banks it has developed the famous upi bheem rupee okay the star 99 ash or ussd we call it as ussd all these are developed by npci it is also controls the national financial switch which controls the atms also so how many promoters banks have promoted npci so there are mixed answers some say 4 some say 11 what is the right answer the right answer is 10 so what are those the first is sbi bank of india bank of baroda uh, union bank of india canara bank and the punjab national bank these are the six public sector banks ICICI and HDFC are the two private sector banks City Bank and HSBC are the two foreign sector banks in India so totally 10 10 promoters in NPCI okay the present chairman of NPCI is Biswamohan Mahapatra I have told you already, the chairman and MD and CEO is Dilip Asbe. Clear with this, everyone. It is also established under Section Eight of Companies Act, two thousand thirteen. Okay, its headquarters is in Mumbai. clear about npci moving on to the next question national health protection scheme nhps was recently announced in the union budget it provides how much as health insurance cover per family is it 1 lakh 10 lakhs 5 lakhs 3 lakhs or 6 lakhs national health health protection scheme also called as ayushman bharat yes what is the right answer yes most of you have given the right answer 5 lakhs is the right answer so 5 lakhs per family not for everyone in the family total 5 crore families to be covered okay clear with this 5 lakh per family is, a, uh, is given under health insurance per family under the national health protection scheme who is the present md and ceo of india post payments bank is it anant kumar suresh verma anupriya patel supriya roy suresh sethi india post payments bank its headquarters is in mumbai sorry new delhi it was established in the year 2017 and what's the tagline aapka bank aapke dwar means your bank and it's run by you only okay what's the right answer suresh sethi is the right answer he was he was appointed as the md and ceo of 
India Post Payments Bank and how much stake does Government of India holds? Government of India holds 100% stake in the India Post Payments Bank. Next on, how many items wholesale price index WPI or wholesale inflation is calculated? Is it 679 or 676 or 697 or 657 or 557? Wholesale price index. Check to check the price rise. on wholesale goods right wholesale goods mean they are traded on trade bulk traded goods you can't get one pen right you have to buy a sheet of pens like if you go to metro cash and carry they will give you a sheet of pen they generally sell for uh, so how many items yes somebody has given the right answer most of you have said the right answer 676 was earlier now 697 what are the three items wpi is calculated on three items the first is primary articles this is very important for rbi grade b next is a fuel power light and third is manufactured goods or products okay um, primary articles means it includes agricultural related uh, these are the primary articles okay 117 goods 16 goods on uh, fuel power light and 564 totally 697 will be the total so highest weightage is for manufactured goods Okay. Who calculates WPI in India? It is calculated by Office of the Economic Advisor under Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Who is the minister? Suresh Prabhu and he belongs to Andhra Pradesh, Rajya Sabha constituency. Okay. And WPI for uh, June is? Currently it is 5.77%. So you have to note down the WPI and CPI from Jan to June. Okay. Take a table or column and note down. So the right answer is 697. What does C stands for in CDR? Is it current capital corporate council or count? Current capital corporate or council or count. What does C stands for? Yes, be fast in answering the questions. I forgot to tell about the base year. The base year for WPI is currently it is 2011-12 equivalent to 100. 100 means it is a base year, the year with which you are comparing the current year. 2011 to 12 means it is a financial year. 1st April 2011 to 31st March of 2012. For CPI it is 2012 equal to 100. Okay, this is the base year. So what about CDR? Corporate Debt Restructuring Scheme. Okay, the very best example is recently Bush and Steel. It was in losses. So... To take out, as it was in losses, uh, it had high NPAs. So some companies will come forward to take up its debt. So this was taken up by Tata Steel, right? So this is called corporate debt restructuring scheme. Okay, moving on to the next question. National Institute of Securities Markets was established by BSC, NSC, Union Ministry of Finance, NYSC, that is New York Stock Exchange or SEBI. National Institute of Securities Markets.
Yes, what could be the right answer? Most of you have given the right answer. SEBI is the right answer. Don't confuse with National Institute. Uh, don't say it is NSC, National Stock Exchange. The right answer is SEBI. Okay, so now we will compare the three. Bombay Stock Exchange, National Stock Exchange, SEBI. So whenever you are studying current affairs, you have to relate things. When was BSC established? 1875, 1992, 1988 made statutory, that means through SEBI Act in 1992. Headquarters, all are in Mumbai. Okay, clear with this? Next, uh, index is Sensex. It is a group of how many companies? 30 companies. Remember, Sensex is a grouping of 30 companies. Later it has a further index like Sensex 500, Sensex 100. Nifty. Nifty 50 is the right answer. It is a group of 50 companies. It has, it is, as it is a capital market regulator, it has no uh, chairman. Chairman of BSC is Seduraman Ravi. And MD and CEO is Ashish Kumar Chauhan. Okay. And what is the tagline? Experience the new. BSC's tagline is Experience the new. Chairman of NSE is Ashok Chawla. The MD and CEO is Vikram Limaye. We have only chairman for SEBI. Who is that? Ajay Tyagi. What is the tagline of NSC? Uh, it is a stock of the nation. What is the tagline of SEBI? Har investor ki thakat. That means investor's strength. Okay. Clear now, and BSC has established BSC Institute. It is for learning the stock exchanges, and it has the India's International Exchange also. This was also the question. Uh, SEBI has established this NISM. Okay, it is an educational institute by SEBI. Moving on to the next question. Target under Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana has been revised from five crore to. How much crore beneficiaries? Is it 6 crores, 12 crores, 16 crores, 10 crores or 8 crores? Target under Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana. Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana was started in 2016. It is a free LPG connection distribution scheme. Hope you know it, right? with 5 crore beneficiaries at that time it was launched in 2016 at Balia. Balia is a famous place in Uttar Pradesh. Hope we are studying general studies. You will see it is related to Quit India movement. Parallel government was started in Balia, all those places. Okay, so what is the right answer? Right, 8 crore is the right answer. It was increased to from 5 crore beneficiaries to 8 crore beneficiaries. There is one more scheme called Ujala. Hope you know it, right? Unnat Jyoti Affordable LEDs for All. This is regarding LEDs. Ujwala is for LPG. Okay? Who is a Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas? It is Dharmendra Pradhan. He is from Diogar of Odisha Lok Sabha constituency. Okay, clear? Moving on to the next one. A money to World platform is related to is it SBI, S Bank, Axis, HDFC, or ICICI. Money to world platform.
money to world platform yes who is going to answer this first be fast guys because we have just completed the 18 questions so what is the right answer for this question ICICI bank is the right answer okay money to world platform is outward remittance services or you can what do you mean by this uh, resident Indians can send money online to overseas okay so there will be fees it is 24 by 7 uh, fees charged for this okay clear with this next national income tax day is observed on july 25th july 15 july 14 july 24 july 1st we have mentioned in our current affairs also hope you are seeing our current daily current affairs okay on talent sprint platform exam prep dot if you are a student you can easily take the current affairs you can also find on talent slash blog okay don't worry about pdf we'll be providing the pdf in the description of the after the session is done so what is the right answer national income tax day july 24th is the right answer why july 24th on july 24th 1860 sir james wilson has passed or used the word budget budget for the first time in India okay and uh, mentions about uh, taxes so that's why national income tax day is observed on July 24th 1860 clear with this yes ev everyone moving on to the next question under the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana farmers need to pay a premium of how much for the rabi crops is it 2 percent 4 percent 3 percent 1.5 percent or 25 sorry 2.5 percent Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana is a crop insurance scheme Tariff means generally it is from um, July to September, October to March. Okay. The Tariff crops are rice, maize, etc. Okay. What are the rabi crops? Wheat, mustard, all these. Okay. So Tariff crops, how much is a uniform premium? It is 2%. For rabi crops it is 1.5%. For horticulture it is 5%. So the right answer is, sorry it should be 1.5%. Okay. Clear with this. Moving on to the next one. Karni Mata Temple or also called as, which is also called as Temple of Rats is located in is it haryana uttarakhand telangana jharkhand rajasthan this question was asked recently in nic acl assistant examination sorry not nicl it is not done gic exam karni mata temple or also called as temple of rats you can see the questions of uh, GIC exam on our discussion platform in talent sprint okay some student has posted them Karni Mata temple yes what is the right answer for this question it is in Bikaneer of Rajasthan Karni Mata temple the uh, rats are also fed Okay, next. The name of India Indonesia joint military exercise is 
इज इट नोमैडिक एलिफेंट इम्बैक्स गरुड़ा शक्ति युद्ध अभ्यास और हैंड इन हैंड Yes, who is going to answer this? Most of you go with yes, Garuda Shakti is the right answer. So, nomadic elephant is between India and Mongolia. What is the capital of Mongolia? Ulan Bathar. And its currency is Togrok. Ulan Bathar Togrok. Imbax is between India and Myanmar. What is the capital? Naipidwa. Currency is Kyat. Garuda Shakti, we know. Yuddha Bias is between India and US. Hand in hand is between India and China. Okay. Malabar is between India, US and Japan. Okay, clear. What is the capital of Indonesia? Jakarta and Indonesian rupiah is the currency of Indonesia. Next, Kalida Samman is a prestigious arts award presented annually by the government of is it Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, Chhattisgarh or Maharashtra? Kalida Samman award is generally given in arts, in visual arts or arts. Recently, it was given to whom? Who is that person? Anjoli Ela Menon. Okay, she is a Pradma Shri awardee for 2018. Anjoli Ela Menon has got this. So, Kalida Samman Award given annually by Madhya Pradesh government, Shivarat Singh Chauhan, Governor Anandi Ben Patel. Okay, next. Who is the present chairman of Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council? Is it Bibek Debroy, Rajiv Kumar, Sanjay Mitra, VK Saraswat or Aravind Subramanyam? Who is the present chairman of Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council? What is this work to advise the PM on economic issues? Yes, the right answer is Bibek Debra. He is a full time member of Niti Aayog. Yes. Niti Aayog. Who is the chairman? Chairman is Prime Minister. Vice Chairman is Rajiv Kumar. CEO is Amitabh Khant of Niti Aayog. It was established on 1st January 2015. It is non-constitutional, non-statutory. Okay. VK Saraswat is also full-time member. Arvind Subramanyam was earlier Chief Economic Advisor. Rajiv Kumar is the present chairman of Niti Aayog. Okay. And other full time member is Ramesh Chant. Bibek Debroy, VK Saraswat, Ramesh Chant. Next, what is the minimum amount for transfer required under RTGS? Is it 5,000, 50,000, 75,000, 2 lakhs, or 5 lakhs? RTGS stands for real time gross settlement system. For a fund transfer, what is the minimum 
maximum is no limit what is the minimum 2 lakhs okay it also works on the bank working days and uh, what is it? is there any maximum limit uh, on cash advances it is 50,000 rupees okay when you want to transfer through cash it is 50,000 is a maximum limit okay so the right answer is 2 lakhs is a minimum limit which of the following are incorrectly paid so you have to read the question carefully you have to tell me which of the following is incorrectly paid incorrectly paired be fast in answering the questions who is going to answer this first which of the following is incorrectly paired United India Insurance Company Limited is in Chennai, it is correct. Oriental Insurance Company is in New Delhi, it is correct. New India Assurance Company Limited is in Mumbai. General Insurance Corporation, Life Insurance Corporation is in Mumbai. National Insurance Company is in Kolkata. So this is the wrong answer. So option 2 is the wrong answer. Clear? Okay? And the tagline of LIC is this question was asked yoga kshemam vahamya means your welfare is our responsibility this was asked yoga kshemam vahamya vahamya your welfare is our responsibility it is a sanskrit word Okay, the tagline of LIC is this one. Clear? And LIC's present chairman is VK Sharma, is the present chairman. The largest insurance holder. And all, are, all of them come under Insurance Development Regulatory Authority of India. Its headquarters is in Hyderabad. Okay, and there is one more uh, insurance company called Agricultural insurance company limited it is in new delhi okay next which of the following gulf countries has introduced vat for the first time recently is it saudi arabia qatar uae bo both saudi arabia and uae kuwait nacl is Mumbai only, only NICL is in Kolkata. Okay, I have told you already. Yes, somebody says one shot, six birds. So that is my intention because you have to learn everything at once because we don't have much time to read, right? Generally, people don't spend much time to read. So that why, that's why you have to learn everything at once and go for your extracurricular activities. Learning is first. first. So what's the right answer? Value added tax. Saudi Arabia is the right answer. Saudi Arabia. Riyadh is the capital. Riyal is the currency. UAE. Both of them has introduced VAT for the first time. The capital is Abu Dhabi. And the currency is uh, Dirham. Qatar's capital is uh, Doha and the currency is Riyal. Kuwait's capital is Kuwait City and Kuwaiti Dinar is a currency. Okay, moving on to the next one. Union government has set the fiscal deficit target for 2018-19 is. Union government has set the fiscal deficit target for 2018-19 is.
yes fiscal deficit the highest of all deficits generally we have revenue deficit primary deficit please go through my budget topic on talentskin.com if you want more about the budget related topics so what was for 2017-18 what was for 2018-19 so for 17-18 it is 3.5 percent and for 18-19 it is 3.2 percent okay what do you mean by deficit deficit means expenditure is more than income so deficit would be made zero or negative because income should be always high clear everyone next the Institute of International Finance is headquartered in, is it Geneva, Paris, Washington DC, London, New Delhi. Somebody asked what is fiscal deficit. Fiscal deficit means it is total or budget deficit minus market borrowing why we are removing market borrowing because government borrows lot of money from the public so it doesn't want to include it so when i minus the market borrowing from the budget deficit i will get fiscal deficit okay clear everyone institute of international finance is headquartered in yes in washington dc it is the right answer in Geneva, we have, I think I have told you many times, World Health Organization, World Trade Organization, World Intellectual Property Organization, International Telecommunication Union, uh, UNECTAD, United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, uh, Amnesty International. Okay, all these are there. Paris, we have Financial Action Task Force, UNESCO. Uh, Washington, we have the International Institute of Finance, IMF, World Bank, London, we have, uh, this is World Meteorological Organization, International Maritime Organization, and uh, we have the various banks in London, okay, clear, next. Which is the first Indian company to be listed on NASDAQ? Is it Reliance, TCS, ICICI, Infosys or IOCL? Somebody says fiscal deficit, you said it has 3.2 but answer was 3.3. I've told for 2017-18 it is 3.5. This is the revised one, okay? For it, uh, it is 3.3 is the right answer for 2018-19, okay? Which is the first Indian company to be listed on NASDAQ? Sorry, Amnesty International is in London. Doctors Without Borders is in Geneva. Okay, Amnesty International is in London. EBRD is in London. Okay, Euro European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Okay, so here comes the first Indian company to be listed on NASDAQ. What does NASDAQ stands for? National Association. of securities dealers automated quotations okay second largest stock exchange in the world first is new york stock exchange in terms of market capitalization it is also in new york okay oldest i've told you amsterdam stock exchange its uh, index is Euronext in Netherlands. In 1600s it was established. Oldest in Asia we know Bombay Stock Exchange. What is the right answer? Infosys. Infosys headquarters is in Mumbai. Sorry, Bangalore. The present MD and CEO is Salil Parekh.
okay established in the year 1981 so this is the first indian company to be listed on nasdaq the board of financial supervision is chaired by is it union finance minister finance secretary prime minister rbi deputy governor or rbi governor board of financial supervision yes be fast guys what is the right answer yes the right answer is the chairman is rbi governor our urjit patel and uh, vice chairman will be one one of the deputy governors okay the right answer is rbi governor what is this board of uh, financial supervision to supervise money market institutions because rbi is money market regulator or not in the country clear how much is the maximum time up to 364 days you can lend or borrow in the that means less than 1 year is a money market money market regulator is rbi capital market regulator is sebi okay next what are the minimum and maximum denominations of electoral bonds introduced by the union government electoral bonds because the political parties are in gathering money through hawala transactions so government wants it to be done through the legal process so it wants to go for bonds and maximum cash donation is 2000 rupees only yes what is the right answer the right answer is 1000 is a minimum and maximum is 1 crore and it will be issued in 1000 10000 1 lakh 10 lakhs and 1 crore five denominations okay and sold by specified branches of sbi only okay on the starting days of the first quarter quarters we have four quarters in year right and specified days by government of india okay clear everyone and uh, the cash will be encashed within 15 days and the name of the donor and the party will not be revealed and donor will get tax exemption and the receivant uh, receiver party may go for refunds if they want okay if they claim it next world's first biometric emv card for contactless payments is launched by is it barclays bank hsbc bank of cyprus city bank royal bank of scotland what is emv emv stands for europe mastercard and visa generally these are used for debit and credit card transactions yes in me se kaun si bank world's first biometric card launch kiya tha is it barclays hsbc bank of cyprus city bank royal bank of scotland this was a current affair yes the right answer is bank of cyprus it was launched by a company called gemalto along with bank of cyprus cyprus its capital is nicosia okay clear with this next where is barclays bank barclays bank is in london and london we have a european bank for reconstruction also and uh, hsbc and um, standard chartered all these are in london only okay hsbc is also in london bank of cyprus is in C city bank is in uh, us along with jp morgan chase 
Royal Bank of Scotland is in Edinburgh of UK. Saxo Bank is in Copenhagen, Denmark. Sonali Bank, Bangladesh. And what is other bank? Rabo Bank. Rabo Bank is in uh, Utrecht, Netherlands. Clear. Biometric means you can use the fingerprint sensor to to make the payment. Okay. Next. Which of the following is are not correctly paid? Rudrasar Lake, Tripura, Chilika Lake, Odisha, Deeporbil Lake, Assam, Mani Mahesh Lake, Punjab, or all of the above are correct. In may say Konsi correctly paid nahi hai. So you have to tell which of the following is not caught correctly. Rudrasar Lake is in Tripura, Chilika Lake is in Odisha, Deepur Bili Assam, Mani Mahesh Lake is in Himachal Pradesh. So answer is fourth option. All of them are these first three are Ramsar wetlands in India. Totally we have 26 Ramsar wetlands. We celebrate World Wetlands Day on 2nd February where the Ramsar Convention. Ramsar is in Iran. Okay. Next. Recently proposed Mahi Banswara nuclear power plant is to come up in. Is it Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat? Recently, some nuclear power plants were proposed. Yes, what is the right answer? Mahi Banswara power plant is in Rajasthan. Rajasthan, we also have Rawat Bhatta. This is the first nuclear power plant in India. Okay, Mahi Banswara. And uh, Tamil Nadu, we have Kudan Kulam, uh, which was developed with Russia. Kalapakam. Gujarat, we have uh, Kakrapar. Mithivriddhi. All these are in Gujarat. AP, we have Kovada. Karnataka, we have. Uh, Khaiga, Maharashtra we have Jaitapur, Tarapur. See why I am giving you this extra information is whenever you attempt the questions it will be easy for you. Okay. And Uttar Pradesh, Narora. Okay. Next. Which of the following is are are correctly paired? Correctly paid, which of the following is correctly paid? Ambubachi, Mela, Assam, Karchi Puja, Tripura, Shirulili Festival, Manipur, Bhatkama Festival, Telangana, or all of the above. Be fast in answering the questions. Yes. Ambubachi Mela is in uh, Kamakya Temple, the famous Kamakya Temple, Goddess Kamakya. Karchi Puja is in Tripura, offered to 14 gods. Shiru Lili is the state flower of Manipur. Okay, it is found in Ukrul district of Manipur. Shiru Lili festival, some celebrations are made in that district. So, Manipur is the right answer. Bhatakama festival during our Dur Durga Navratri or Dasara is celebrated in Telangana. So, the answer is all of the above is the right answer. Kampala is the capital of Rwanda, Mauritius, Namibia, Uganda, Ukraine. Be fast. Recently Modi ji has also visited Kampala. I think yesterday back. Yes, what is the right answer? Uganda is the right answer. Rwanda's capital is Kigali. Mauritius capital is Port Louis. Namibia's capital is Windhoek. Uganda's capital is Kampala. Ukraine's capital is Kiev. 
it is Rwandan franc, Mauritian rupee for Mauritius and Namibian dollar, Ugandan shilling and Ukrainian Hainvya is the currency of recently Rwanda uh, Modi ji has uh, donated 200 cows also along with 200 million US dollars uh, for Uganda also 200 million was given by India he has also addressed the Ugandan parliament next who was the first female RBI deputy governor? Is it Shamala Gopina, Tusha Thorat, KJ Udeshi, or Namita Devi, or Shika Sharma? Yes, what is the right answer? First female RBI deputy governor, who is going to answer this first? First female RBI deputy governor, no one has given the right answer still now. Yes, the right answer is KJ Udeshi, she has served as the first First woman RBI deputy governor. Is there any RBI governor till now? No. No RBI woman governor. Till now. Only deputy governor. Okay. Shamala Gopinath has also served. She has served from 2005 to 2010 as deputy governor. Ush, sorry. Usha has served from 2005 to 2010 and Shamla has served from 2009 to 2011 okay and Shika Sharma is for Axis Bank and she is no way related to RBI okay so KJ Udeshi she is the first female RBI deputy governor no RBI governor from woman side till now till date the man who made the elephant dance is an audio autobiography of Nathwar Singh, Yuvraj Singh, B.R. Ambedkar, Mary Com, Dr. Varjis Kurian. Yes, recently first CFO of RBI is Sudha Balakrishnan. She is a chief financial officer. Okay. The man who made the elephant dance. Somebody asked, will deputy governor can become RBI governor? Yes. RBI governor can be re-elected or reappointed, sorry, reappointed any number of times. So what is the right answer? The man who made the elephant dance is Dr. Varjis Kurian, father of white revolution. Milk. White revolution is milk in. He is the backbone behind Amul. What is the full form of Amul? Anand Milk Union Limited. Natwar Singh has written this book called uh, Yuvraj Singh has written the book called The Test of My Life. Ambedkar has written Waiting for a Visa. This is autobiography. Mary Comb Unbreakable. Okay. LK Advani My Country My Life. Uh, Sanya Mirza, yes, again, starts all are these. Okay. How much FDI is allowed for white label ATMs? Is it 100%, 49%, 51%, 74%, or 20%? What do you mean by white label ATMs? Is it painted with white? Yes, 
white label ATM means these are third party non banking entities okay the first white label ATM is Tata IndyCash hope you have seen I think right so these are established under payment and settlement systems act Two thousand seven. Okay, the net worth to establish a white label ATM is hundred crores, and how much FDI is allowed? Hundred percent. Okay, forty nine percentage. You know, right? Insurance, pension, all those are fifty uh, one percentage is uh, multi brand retailing. Seventy-four percentage is private sector banks, payment banks. Twenty percentage is public sector banks. ARCs, asset reconstruction companies, greenfield airports, all these are hundred percent, and white label ATMs are also hundred percent. There is one more concept called brown label ATMs. Brown label ATM means you will not find the board of the non banking entity you will find the actual board of the bank only here you will in white label atm you will find the board of tata indicas suppose example but in brown label atms it is also third party but the bank will give lease to someone else but the bank board name will be present okay to start a white label atm net worth should be 100 crores which of the following has launched smart up zones which cater startups in india is it standard chartered icici geo payments sbi hdfc smart up zones to cater startups in india Yes, the right answer is HDFC. HDFC has started the smart up zones to cater smart up startups in India. Okay, so there that space will be used for the startup development. Clear? Aditya Puri, I think I have told you all these things. We understand your world headquarters is in Mumbai, 1994. Next, minimum deposit tenure of FC NRB account is is it six months, one month, five years, ten years, or one year? FC NRB stands for Foreign Currency Non Resident Bank Account. We have three types of NRA accounts one is NRO. NRE and FCNRB. These are opened by NRIs. These are opened by NRIs plus overseas corporate bodies. Opened in Indian currency or Indian rupee. This is in foreign currency. So when you open in foreign currency, risk is less. Okay, whenever the rupee falls down, there is no risk because you are opening in foreign currency. So the minimum is, minimum deposit tenure is how much? One year is the right answer and maximum is five years. You can open uh, demand deposits plus term deposits in both the cases. But in FCNRB, you have to open only term deposits only. And you can go for fund transfer also. Next, Pehla Kadam and Pehli Udan are the savings account for minors which were launched by is it Axis, SBI, UBI, S Bank, or Vijaya Bank? Pehli Kadam and Pehli Udan are savings account for minors.
okay yes most of you have given the right answer sbi is a right answer okay clear with this and uh, you will get a special uh, passbook checkbook with uh, pay uh, fees only and uh, photo come debit card and the maximum limit you can uh, it is a uh, 5000 is a maximum limit okay and maximum balance should not exceed 5 lakhs but total uh, it is 10 lakhs total it should not exceed 10 lakhs aggregate on aggregate deposits it's 10 lakhs okay and interest is the same or same like our uh, same like savings account presently it is 3.5 percent sbi is giving next national institute of public finance and policy is an autonomous research institute under rbi sbi ministry of finance sebi or ministry of statistics and program implementation national institute of public finance and policy don't worry about pdf pdf will be provided after this session is done in the description yes paili kadam is a joint account you can also and paili udan is a single operated account next what is the right answer ministry of finance is the right answer our piyush goel is a minister okay is from maharashtra so national institute of public finance is an autonomous institution established under society of registration act 1860 okay next as per rbi resident individuals and professionals with how much experience in banking and finance are eligible to promote universal banks in india is it six months five years ten years fifteen years or twenty five years resident individuals and professionals with how much experience universal banking means it's nothing but like a private sector bank recently this uh, policy called on tap on tap licensing policy was launched for this universal banking how much net worth you need capital you need whether it is domestic bank or foreign bank you need 500 crore rupees only so how much experience also you need you need a 10 years experience in banking or in research or its technology okay so 10 years experience is needed to start or promote universal banking in india and the promoter should hold 40 percent share for the first five years okay and slowly it will be reduced sukanya samriddhi account can now be opened with minimum deposit of what is the right answer most of you i think they'll go with thousand but it is recently earlier it was thousand now it is 250 rupees only recently this was a current affair so this is a minimum balance you can maintain for minimum amount it is maintained and the maximum is 1.5 lakhs okay uh, this account is opened under Beti Bachao Beti Badao scheme in all the regular commercial banks as well as post offices uh, for a girl child till she attains uh, 10 years of age. Okay, and the account can be operated till 21 years. If you want uh, partial withdrawal, you can take up 
at 18 years of age. Next question, what does S stands for in BCSBI? Is it State Standard Savings Service or Security? What does S stands for in BCSBI? BCSBI, I think you have remembered it. Was, if you remember, it is it was recommended by a committee called SS Tarapur Committee. So, what does BCSBI stands for? Banking codes and standard. Standards Board of India. So what do you mean by this? It is for uh, enhancing customer services. This organization will work for customer services. How to improve the customer services. Its headquarters is in Mumbai. Established in 2006 under Society Registration Act 1860. So the right answer is a standard. Okay, next. Thomas and Uber Cups are related to. Is it shooting, football, hockey, badminton, sailing? Okay, Thomas is related to males. And Uber Cup is related to females. Recently, China has won for 2018. And Japan has won for 2018 Uber Cup. So what is the right answer? Yes, badminton is the right answer. Badminton is the right answer. Football, we have Santos Trophy. Okay, badminton, we have Thomas Cup, Uber Cup, all the Opens, Malaysian Open, all those. Okay, next. The last question of the day. Indira Gandhi Institute for Development Research, IGIDR, is an advanced research institute established and fully funded by RBI. Is at Mumbai, Pune, Hyderabad, Bangalore or New Delhi? Who is going to answer this first? Indira Gandhi Institute for Development Research. Yes, what is the right answer? Indira Gandhi Institute for Development Research is in Mumbai. Mumbai is the right answer. It is in Mumbai. So it is fully funded by RBI. IDRBT is in Hyderabad. Institute for Development Research and Banking Technology National Institute for Banking Management is in Pune. Okay. Clear with this. And NHB is in New Delhi. Remember like NN, okay, National Housing Bank, Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation, where the maximum insurance covered is 1 lakh. It is in Mumbai. And Bharatiya Reserve Bank, Node Mudran Private Limited is in Bangalore. All are of RBI. So thank you so much uh, for joining us. Hope we have completed 50 more questions in the part 3. So how was your experience? Did you enjoy the session or not? So keep uh, practicing the questions. Practice is the only key for uh, competitive examinations. And all the best from my side. How much did you score in this part 3? Please let me know. Okay. And join our free coaching on examprep.talentsprint.com. Okay. Our aim is to make you win always. Right. Thank you so much for joining. Take very good care of yourselves. Bye.